All right, so we left off here having installed the engine. That was the last thing we did. And so uh, now we're looking at uh, figuring out the exhaust, whether I wanna keep both of the mufflers or just one, um, where we're gonna run that. And then I've got a pretty good idea of the, uh, the initial drive setup. So my strategy here is to set up the boat in a way that I can basically with minimal effort test the engine, test how the boat drives, rides, how it handles, um, you know, the speed, the, the um, you know, maneuverability, agility, all that stuff. Basically test all that before I fully build out the inside of the boat. I don't really want to put any more work into this thing than I have to if it's not going to be what I initially expect. I think it's going to do really well. The hull design is really, you know, similar to the you know, the kits, but, um, you know, for, for this point, I'm just kind of taking my time and, uh, figuring out how, with the least amount of work, how I can get the engine tested, get the pump set up, tested the, you know, the controls and everything, make sure that it's all as I expect it to be, as I want it to be. And then at that point, you know, once it's tested, you know, it's, uh, it's not got leaks. It doesn't flex things like that. At that point, then I'll decide to do a full build of the inside and make it, you know, kind of more of a permanent boat. Uh, but for this point, for this time, it's just gonna be kind of rigged up. It's still gonna be nice, but it's gonna be, you know, uh, minimal effort using mostly the jet ski stuff. So I'll explain that. So we've got our, uh, you know, our sea uh, uh nozzle fit right on there, no problem. Uh, I, I expect it to be, you know, perfect and have no issues just because of how it lined up and how it sits. Uh, I lost my automatic bilge because of the nozzles here. So if you're, that's something you're counting on, you wanna make sure that you, you know, are aware of that. Uh, but aside from that, everything else is good. I've got my controls here, so I'm gonna run the cables and see how far up they go. Um, I'm working on the exhaust right now. Uh, so we're figuring out where we're gonna put that. I kinda just laid it in there just to see where things would naturally, you know, line up and if it was acceptable. And then we've got our wiring harness here. And then what I'm gonna do is I've actually got, I picked up this truck box uh, not because my truck has a tonneau cover, so I, I don't need it for my uh, for my truck. But this is, uh, you know, I got it for 50 bucks, and it's more than 50 bucks worth of aluminum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, uh, and this is the lid to it, uh, which is really nice. I'm going to take that off first, and uh, you know, save that piano hinge for later. But basically, uh, I'm going to lay that across here and uh, notch it out so that it drops over this. Um, you know, and then make it obviously I'm, I'm just gonna rivet it to the boat that way if I ever want to remove it I just drill out the rivets and pop it off, but it'll be a semi-permanent thing and then I'm just gonna take the uh, the STX 15f uh, You know steering assembly and everything just as it is and I'm gonna set that on top of that So it'll so this will be what you've got. It'll be like a little bubble windshield uh, the, There's the seats are in already. So I'm gonna leave them there. It's pretty comfortable it's, you know, middle of the boat, so it should be, as far as weight, you know, and stuff, it should be good. So basically, you know, you stick your feet out under here. I'll probably remove uh, that front seat just so that, uh, <clears throat> just because it's kind of in the way of your feet. Um, so, however, I'm going to put, you know, so there'll be, that thing will be here, that, that will be sitting on top of here, and then we'll run all the, you know, the wires and stuff back and the cables back. I'm, I'm uh, also going to use the... Um, the uh, STX uh, steering assembly. So I'll show you that. Um, so that's this here, and uh, and this is really good because I was I was going to order a, you know a steering kit basically like a, a, a you know a uh, um, you know just a, a, like a mini jet boat steering kit from Jetstream or Mini Mini Jet Inc or whatever. However, I, I realized that, you know, I didn't know how far it actually turned and, uh, and whether it would be, you know, uh, good or not. So what we ended up with is this is actually, you know, flat. So all I have to do is uh, cut a hole out for the controls here. Um, I've got the control for the reverse bucket on here and I've got my steering assembly. So all I'm gonna do is take the, uh, take the, the handlebar attachment here and uh, connect that on there or not, either way, uh, I, may, I could make a, my own spacer or whatever. And then I'm just gonna mount a steering, a steering wheel to that. Um, so instead of the handlebar, so it'll give me the, you know, exactly what I need as far as, it's already set up with the right amount of travel. Um, it already has the reverse thing, so I don't have to figure that out. And, uh, and then it's gonna have the, 
the gauge cluster right right on top of it, um, which is uh, not here. It's over. It's sitting on the thing there. So that part right there will sit right on top of it. So I think it's it's actually going to be fairly simple to set up and uh, and work out really good. So uh, and then. Um, you know, we'll be able to at least go drive the boat and everything with, you know, and I may leave it this way and just swap out the seats. Um, and you know, who knows, uh, and it'll be, you know, it's going to be diamond plate, so it'll look pretty cool. But, um, but you know, and then, uh, the other thing is once I've got that, that'll essentially be the dash. And once that's in place, uh, then I'll be able to, um, you know, uh, it'll be really easy for me to, uh, mount a windshield if I want that. Um, I may not have it, but if I, if I did, it would be easy to, I'd have the, I already have it set up to, you know, put a windshield in. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's today's project. Um, we ended up the, uh, the guy that I, uh, bought this from or whoever worked on it actually stripped out the motor mounts here. So I've got a couple of them that work, but a couple of them, I've got to uh, pull them out and, uh, re-thread them. So I'll be, uh, doing that and, uh, just, you know, little, little things like that. And then once we're, uh, you know, then I'll be, uh, working on the more fun stuff, which is the controls, the dash and all that stuff. But after sitting in the boat, I think this is going to turn out to be really good. Um, and you know, the, the, uh, uh, you know, just the whole setup. I mean, there's more than enough space next to it for seats back here. So if, if you have seen the, the jet stream, uh, does a seat, uh, does an engine cover that has two seats molded into it or welded into it. I should say they, they fashion the aluminum. Um, so I could certainly do something like that. I'll probably just put a box over the engine and I'll probably just mount seats there. It's not going to be as, you know, uh, uh, I, I think it'll, it'll be, it'll make the seats removable. So that'll be good. Um, and then they'll sit up a little higher. So, uh, so yeah, it's coming together. It's looking good. So I'll, uh, I'm next, the next step is, uh, you know, fairly boring stuff, which is just, getting the motor actually mounted in there, fixing the motor mounts, re-threading them with, you know, for the new bolts and stuff. And then at that point, um, I'll probably, uh, install the, uh, cables, um, just to make sure, see how long they are and that kind of stuff. And then, uh, we'll go from there as far as, I don't think I'm going to have too much problem with like the wiring harness and stuff. Um, because I don't, you know, the gauge cluster is only a few wires. So extending that harness will be no big deal, but, um, but yeah, so so it's all coming together. So really, uh, fairly quickly, it should be operational. We should be able to fire this engine up for the first time, and uh, and at least you know make sure it runs, make sure everything's good. Um, I've got to remember to uh, bypass the. Um, I have to put an aftermarket fuel pressure regulator so I can bump the psi up to like 55 for the high compression that we put in this baby. So I guess I didn't talk about that. You know, the engine we built out. Um, you know, it's a it's a STX 15F. Uh, 2006 and uh it's been completely rebuilt um so i bought all the parts rebuilt it from you know from the all the way from the you know crankshaft uh bearings all the way up um new pistons new connecting rods um you know piston rings obviously new cylinders uh freshly honed so it's all and then we bumped it up to a 1.6 liter so instead of you know 1500 it's a 1600 and we made the compression from i think it was stock is like 10 to one or 10 and a half to one or something like that. We bumped it up to 12 and a half to one. So we're going to run premium gas and uh, have a little more power due to the compression. So it should sound really good. It should have tons of power. And, uh, you know, so at this point, once we get the controls kind of in and we start doing that stuff, then we'll be mounting the air box and mounting the, you know, doing some brackets and things for the, the uh, wiring harness and the battery and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, so that's the today's project and I'll take periodic videos throughout, you know, what we do just to make sure that we've got, uh, um, what we, uh, what we need here. All right, so it looks like we got the exhaust set up. I'm actually going to eliminate the other muffler. Um, all I did is made some cuts to the, to this tube. This tube made a full 90 here. So I cut it off at the angle that would be appropriate. I'm just going to use these two rubber rubber tubes. I got a little bit left over, you know, uh, so, uh, but I was able to, you know, kind of use what I had. And, uh, so I just pulled the, uh, the backside of, uh, what was on the jet ski for the exhaust. So I'm just going to clean this up, uh, you know, flatten it out. And then, uh, and then probably I might, 
I might weld it back together. I might not. It may not need to be, um, but that gives me the you know the holes for the back lined up perfectly. Some good support for the uh, aluminum here, and then I'm just just got to drill a uh, a three inch hole and uh, um, and then we'll be uh, ready to ready to uh, mount the inlet and then hose clamp the rest of it and then the exhaust will be done which will be really great um, and I don't see a problem here uh, as far as like the flow you know it used to run the water obviously runs into the exhaust and then it runs it would run over and then it would run back over and so I don't think that there's gonna be a problem with this because this isn't much higher than the original arc over to the other muffler. It's just gonna be like that. So it'll be probably a little bit louder, but it's gonna come out down here below the water line, you know, right at the water line. So I think that'll probably help as well as far as noise and stuff goes. But uh, I'll show you a picture of it once it's all finished. All right, so you got the exhaust done, turned out really good. Um, you know, basically the same nozzle and everything that was on the jet ski uh, is now on here. Really easy to install. Um, used some flex seal to seal it all up. Um, took this part out, used a wire brush on that on a grinder. Uh, that got all the crap off of that that was, you know, from being installed in the jet ski. And then, you know, we've got uh, yeah, really good, really good seal, really good bond. It looks, looks good. It's nice and tight. Um, and then all I did is rerouted this. So um, this originally um, looked like this and had two mufflers. So originally it ran, you know, you can see that picture, it ran out the back, then this tube ran over to the other side into that muffler, back over to this side, and then back out of the thing. Uh, and, and so it was, you know, obviously ran through, through this muffler, back out through this muffler, and then out of the boat or out of the jet ski. And so I just uh, eliminated one of them, which I've read that people are, you know, people do. Um, so not too worried about that, uh, you know, and, and it's gonna, uh, I think it's gonna work good. So now we've got, you know, we, we reduced the weight. Um, and uh, also I believe, you know, this is gonna be below the water line. So it's gonna be really nice because it's got this turn down and uh, you know, uh, looks good. So I'm happy with that. Uh, so now we're gonna move on to uh, getting, you know, as you see, I've got the, you know, the controls kind of set here just in place. Look, just looking at this kind of, you know, so I'll sit in the seat, measure how far this needs to be away, kind of what's comfortable. Um, and then that's going to give a pretty nice, you know, dash and everything. And then I'll uh, mark here, you know, move it to one side so I can save as much, uh, as big of a piece. I don't, I don't end up with two little tiny pieces, um, but I'll pull it to one side, you know, and then cut it there. Um, and then, uh, and then all I have to do is drill, you know, cut a hole in it so that this part will drop through and then that'll sit nice and flat. Uh, once I bolt this down, the nice thing about this whole thing is that once I bolt that down, this has, this bolts to that. So, uh, I may, we'll have to see, you know, um, if it sits flush and stuff, I'll have to drop it in there and see what it looks like. Um, but you know, the bottom line is it's going to look really clean uh, and it's going to, you know, that's going to sit just like that on there. Um, so we'll have to set it on there and space it right and make sure that, you know, it is the way I want it to be. Um, and then we'll start running cables and that'll be that. So for now, that'll be, you know, really good. That'll give me a place where the reverse control is here. The steering control is here. The throttle will also be here. And I just have to run an extra cable for trim, which I'll probably put on the side here or something like that. Um, but it gives me a lot to work with having that. So, you know, when you find this kind of stuff on like Facebook Marketplace or whatever, you know, uh, it's really good to pick up because this piece of metal, uh, I priced a I priced a four by eight sheet of aluminum just like that, and uh, it's like 180 bucks or something for the thinnest stuff. Um, if I wanted to go up, it's, it ends up being you know 250 dollars for a sheet of that stuff, and so. Um, you know, I've got a whole box. Basically, I probably have as much as one sheet, you know, even though it's kind of uh, in a different configuration, but that'll work out really good. And uh, so, you know, it pays to keep your eyes open just because then you got stuff that, you know, if I had paid uh, $250 for a sheet of this, I'd be really making sure that I cut it right, that it was all perfect, that, you know, I would be nervous about it. Um, but with this, I mean, I got the whole box for 50 bucks, so I can hack it up and play around with it and whatever. And uh, you know, it's, I'm not out anything really. So, uh, 
so yeah, so the next thing is to, uh, is to, um, you know, probably stick the cables in there just so I can get an idea of length and make sure that everything's going to fit the way I think it will. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. So before anybody lights me up on, uh, on the comments about how, uh, rigged up and, and just, just terrible this looks, uh, this is just, uh, simply for testing. Okay. So I've got, uh, and, and this is also a good reason why you keep everything because I was able to, uh, you know, I'm going to buy, if, if I decide to build this boat out fully, I'll buy a, you know, a steering control, um, you know, and basically, or, or modify that one and, and make it, you know, make it look better, put it under the dash and that kind of stuff. It'll all be nice. But for now, I mean, this was all stuff I had, uh, worked out really good. So what we've got is, uh, um, I don't know why it seems like all the 10 millimeter wrenches just go missing, but basically everything on this jet ski is 10 millimeters and I just had a wrench. Oh, there it is on the ground. Look at that. Well, winning. All right. So basically, uh, the reason you keep everything is because I've got this bucket here with all the, the, everything metal that came off the jet ski. I took it all off, took all the bolts off in case I left anything. So I was able to just with an extra piece of diamond plate fab up a, a bracket there. I angled this because if it was sitting like this, uh, the, the steering wheel would be up here, um, which is not a comfortable seating position. So now it's going to be right here. Um, and that, you know, that'll probably it'll work out for testing. So really all I need to do is get, uh, you know, I've got to rig up something for the reverse, which is here. Um, I, I riveted this bracket here just because that's as long as the cable goes. Um, but the uh, uh, reverse works really good, and uh, the steering is, you know, is uh, all set. So we are, so we've got controls, which is really what we needed to do. So, uh, you know, riveted this down just, just you know, so it's part of the boat, but it's not, you know, obviously there's a lot of sharp edges, there's a lot of stuff, it, it's messy. Um, but like I said, I'm putting in as little, as little, uh, as little as I can into making this thing work so that I can test it. And once I test it, you know, then we'll go into full on uh, building it nice and making it work good. But it's a, you know, it's a $300 boat. So, so that's that. So I've got my, I'll have my gauge cluster here, which will work out really good. Um, and that'll be, you know, uh, perfectly visible, I think, from sitting there. Um, and obviously, you know, the jet ski hull came over this, so that's why that's goofy looking, but it's not too bad. Um, you know, and it's actually, this is, you know, this is once I tighten it up with these bolts here, I actually could put a bracket on here and put my, you know, uh, depth finder if I wanted to, or, or put it over here or put it in the center or whatever. So, uh, so anyways, that, you know, got the, the, you know, dash on there and, and it's looking like, uh, looking like a boat. So 